How you start out? Yeah. A little sketch. Kind of a drawing first. Yeah. And then uh, paint by number after that. <laughs> Just gotta figure out the numbers. <laughs> <laughs> Sun. And then when you have the, you know, see I have the sun on the canvas and stuff, it's hard to, but you know what, I usually paint the other direction, so I'm going to have to turn around. I'm going to turn it this way because... <clears throat> Uh huh. Red, yellow, and blue. <clears throat> but I'll use a cool and warm yellow. Instead of red, I use lizard crimson and uh, an orange. And then there's uh, cerulean and cobalt blue. So there's a red, yellow, and blue. There's warm and cool of both. That way I'm able to jump faster.
gotta be two rocks or something over there. Oh my God. What I'm going to do is have this side darker because I'm going to have the light coming from this direction to show the atmosphere of the world being round. It's going to be darker in that angle and lighten up out over there because it's sets of where the light's coming from. So. Here we are on Historic Canyon Road, and we're going to pay a visit to fine artist Ronnie Layden in his Santa Fe Gallery. I can see Ronnie down there painting right now, so let's go say hello to him. There's his sign, Ronnie Layden Fine Art Gallery. And a beautiful little location here he has. Right on the corner where Palace meets Canyon Road. Let's say hello to him. Ronnie! Yeah. Hey, how's it going? Good, what are you doing? Well, just uh, thought we'd pay you a visit. See what you're up to here today. How much you gonna pay me? Doing a painting, huh? Oh yeah. Putting the sky in, huh? Yeah. Nice. Trying to warm it up here. Make a little gradation, you know, make it across darker. Create the atmosphere. Warm it up as it gets closer to the sun there. Come on across the square, you make some interest with it, you know, but it's just, this paint just feels sticky, you know.
You know what? I want to tell you what. Fuck. I, I want to tell you as a dust. Go quick. That is not as interesting than that. Come here. Get that angle. Hmm? Get that angle. Get. Oh, but then I get the back of your head. See, that's the problem. Well, I'll, well, I'll, I'll, I'll turn this a little. I'll turn this a little bit and start talking. Yeah. See, I don't want to be filming the back of your head. That's that's boring to people. They need to see your face. You know. Yeah. But we turn this way. That's a hell of a lot more interesting than that. Well, not only that, but it shows your exactly. shows your signs and exactly. stuff. So let's do it this way. Yeah, that's better. So don't you know, don't don't hide behind your arm. Just look at the camera, talk. Hold on a second. Let me get something moving in my brain to talk about. You know, so can I just warm up. How did you get into art? Well, just growing up here in Santa Fe, I just. I just they aspire. There's inspiration everywhere. I don't know. Even though, even that, when I was young, I just everything was. My mom used to say I'd uh, come in with a leaf and a detail. Talk about the veins and veins in the leaf. And so it was just. It was just really. Uh, Fascinated by nature and shapes, and you know, I've just always loved that. And, uh, and uh, yeah, I just started drawing since I was real young. And uh, you know, painting just takes so. Actually, it takes a very long time just with the. You know, the values, the shapes, the brushwork, all that takes a lot of years, so I just drew and, you know, kept, uh, kept after it. And, uh, as an artist, you, know, you just, you want to make sure you're always, I don't know, growing, changing or something, so... You know, you just don't get to a point where an artist, your, I think your style develops. I have two different styles now. I just, I just, I just, I designed another style that 
a lot of people like. This is plain air. Yeah, I, I, I always paint. I just paint from memory. And uh, my stylized are just. Uh, uh, out of my mind. Someone asked me the other day where that came from, and I told him my mind. <laughs> and. Uh, So right now I'm just sort of laying in my darkest dark and that's these uh, pine trees up here, the shadow side of the pine trees. <laughs> And, uh, and that gets you, uh, then you, then you want to go and find your lightest light, in between there is where all your other values are going to lie. So it's, it's actually where you really want to start, you know, it, 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 it it, it, it gives you your boundaries, you know, you don't want, you find your darkest dark and your lightest light, and you know where everything else fits in between there. So, that's what I'm trying to do here. Do you think clouds are alive? Huh? Do you think clouds are alive? They sure seem like it sometimes, don't they? Why don't you, uh, wanna go get the food, figure that out? You're recording right now. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to get you to say something profound. And <laughs> <laughs> Get a little 
situation going on here. Oh, this is so fun. different there's gonna be a, a variety in there you know I just cover it trick these little the little spots you got to darken the value because they come out popping so you gotta get a little, a little darker in there 